is you know um ignore this it's a uh, yeah but uh yeah no that that's really really important i i know exactly who those people are like yeah those are the type of people who are just like Im immediate and I, I would take in feedback from like a lot of people just because I, I think I am conscious of like how I'm because that's part you can of separate it too. yeah because that's part of like being a comedian it's like you're yeah. you want to give people a good time you want to make people laugh but then you yeah. also have to accept it when you say a joke that offends people like you yeah. that you have to accept that right yeah. but like I pay really close attention to when like these like certain people are just like you, you mm. that that was the bridge you that, crossed it yeah that was you didn't, you didn't cross it yet but that was <laughs> that was close it was starting to I'm yeah. Like, yeah you're right yeah, you're right yeah, let yeah. Me, step let me back step there. back yeah, but yeah. back to what we were saying um the, uh my improv experience all that hard work i put in that experience wasn't wasted no because the philosophy of improv saying yes you know following your impulses you know yeah um you know uh prioritizing the audience like all, all like there's so many things about improv and that all of that important. is also it all, acting yeah ex exactly like all of that actually exactly. like in a scene even if you say one thing and it says another like even if like it, you know if there's an opportunity for yeah. you to be like it could be that way but yeah. i don't think so it's probably better if you say it could be that way absolutely saying yes to the opportunity everything as far as me performing on social media or on yeah. stage and everything that i'm going to do like when i one day hopefully become a businessman is going to be absolutely based on improv yeah and um i i really think that's going to give me a leg up and so yeah that's you know it, it's just like you know man god god is a trip because like you because because he has you going through this experience mm. thinking that it's going to lead to one thing and then yeah, and then he's like actually like no that this is actually what it's going to be for and it's actually like much better and much better suited for you but while you're going in that better direction you're spending so much time being mad that it didn't happen this way because you kind of i kind of made up in my mind that this is what it was going to take for me to be happy Mm. Making fifty dollars for for, for a show. <laughs> yeah, you that, said that's it. gonna make me super happy. Yeah. Doing doing one show a week and making fifty dollars. Yeah, and yeah. you know, max two. You know, <laughs> two hundred people is a lot. Like not not like messing with like two hundred, but like you know, like performing with these people being perceived that that was the big thing. Like being able to have the title of I'm the main stager at So and So Theater. Yeah, but. In the real that world, that title, like, but yeah. but versus what God sees for you, mm -hmm. which could be have a way deeper yeah. meaning than that title. And the journey that I'm on is like way, but like the stuff that I'm saying right now about building my own production, that's way, that's closer. That's mm -hmm. way, you know, more truthful to me, and that's just like much better. Yeah. And 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 again, like it just kind of like went back into like I thought that I needed to have certain opportunities to give me the platform, to give me the personal brand, so that I can go. But it's just like no, do you can like go do it right now. Yeah. Like when you post again, when you post on Instagram, this many people see it. When yeah. you're in the theater, only this many people see it. Like it's yeah. it's just That's like exposure. let 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 go of like how you've been taught how it's supposed to. Like just like look at it. Yeah. Like I just look at it. <laughs> it's it's, it's obvious if you yeah. take if you take out all your ego yeah. from it and all yeah. of your you know um, just like I guess old ways of doing things. Yeah, it's it's obvious that this it's is right actually there. the way to go. Yeah. So and yeah. so do you, do you have you done any? I, and I'm not sure that you would necessarily do it this structured, but have mm -hmm. you thought to yourself like, okay, I'm gonna write like a little short. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. is that something you're like looking to do or for your, like when you think of your production company mm -hmm. and what you want to do, are you thinking like little videos, like snippets of comedy? Are you thinking like, I want to actually make a little thing? I'm thinking, a TV show. I, I'm thinking like it would just be a place where, um, where, where artists, uh, can collaborate for sure. Like I'm, I'm okay. just thinking, I'm just thinking as far as, um, like as, as artists, we get like very precious about our mm -hmm. stuff, and that's mm. sort of been my advantage. Yeah, I'm and that's and, and, yeah, this. and you have yeah. to you have to not be. You, you have to let it go. You have to like put Ooh. it out, and like that's that's something that I've learned how to do is yeah. to figure out sort of like an in infrastructure where I can like put content out consistently. So yeah. I'm like, okay, this works for um, acting and films. Yeah. This also works for, you know, music. This yeah. also works for 
um, uh, art and like graphic yeah. design. This also yeah. works for a bunch of different things. Yeah. So, so, so that's why I'm thinking like a production company because a production company puts stuff out like consistently and like right. it, it's gonna I, and like I, I, huh, I, I okay. imagine a situation where like um, like the artist's creativity is at the forefront. So I actually have like written down like what the plan is. Just like Monday we're gonna put out like a 15 minute film. You know, Tuesday we're putting yeah. out a music video. Thursday we're putting out this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like something for every day of the week and. Um, I just feel like naturally that's just gonna get attention because it's just like uh, like every day I log into this thing. Yeah, the consistency getting... being the key actually. Exactly. Rather than it's being good or bad yeah. in a way. Like I mean, obviously you want good quality, yeah. but mostly just about it being there. But like that's the thing. Again, switching mentalities. Like mm -hmm. traditional media mm -hmm. dictates we have to like have the demos. We need to make sure that it's good. We need to make sure consult this person and bring this person into it and, yeah. and like really, really just like be really pushed until like everybody agrees that this is okay. Yeah. This social media thing, especially especially with us artists, make it, put it out. If the people like it, great. If they don't, move on. Next. Put out the next one. Put out the next. The, yeah. the first twenty-five of them suck. Figure out why those, and you don't know why yet. But then you finally have one that's good. Okay, yeah. what's the difference between this one as opposed to the last? Tw you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That's that. That's the game that we're in, and and um, definitely um, that's something that. Um, I, I certainly have the, I, I certainly have an advantage with as far as just like being okay with just making myself look stupid and, you know, posting yeah, a LeBron totally. James photo with yeah. a caption that I thought was fire, but got absolutely no traction whatsoever. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. cool. <laughs> like, yeah. and, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that, that's, that's the game. And like, um, yeah, like I'm, it's, it's really exciting and like I'm getting all jittery talking about it because like. Well, so Media too has actually played into what you're talking. Well, yeah. I should say Instagram yeah. has basically taken away the idea of likes. Mm -hmm. So that actually, yeah, in a way, I feel like in a way that something maybe before we would have had to be like that needs to have like 50 or 100 or a thousand likes. Mm -hmm. Now it's like if it's got three, no one knows. Yeah, technically you could go look and log in and see, but it's yeah. like. But in, in a way, that kind of helps your spirit of what you're talking about. Of just mm -hmm. post, just post, just, just post. Don't worry just, about yeah, it. Yeah, just, Don't yeah, freaking worry about what people you have, say. You have to, just you, put it out there. You have to go. And then also, I feel like, you know, talking about traditional media, you know, a lot of people, like a lot of decisions that are made for as far as who gets cast in movies or who's, mm -hmm. you know, being put at the forefront for this, you know, um, record label. A lot of it isn't predicated on whether you're good or not. Yeah. There's a lot of politics that go into this thing. Yeah. You're so and so's nephew. You're yeah, the yeah, right yeah. look. Nepotism looks for sure. You're the the you're just like the right style for this stuff. Like there's just like a whole bunch yeah. of crazy stuff. We that liked goes you into when it. we met you one time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so yeah. and so and like um social and like social media, like TikTok's an amazing app because like it's it's another one of those things. It's just like a great equalizer. Like if this if people on this app like it, it's going to do well. Yeah. If they don't like it, it's not. <laughs> That's and right. I, I and like um I, I guess some people get get discouraged by that, but like I love that. Yeah, I love it's that. Instant feedback it's, in a way. It's instant feedback and you, it's just like a it's just like a fun journey of figuring out, okay, mm -hmm. like how does my talent and their interests you know, where, where does it intersect? Yeah. And like, and, and how can I like, you know, take advantage of like, it's really fun for me to try to figure, it's a nice puzzle, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Those so are the type of puzzles though. that I, I don't like real puzzles. I like, <laughs> yeah. I like but media like, puzzles. Much? Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and I think, I think that makes total sense. I mean, that, that's, a, it's good, like, honestly, like self research. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you just understand where things are, like the trajectory of how to do things. Yeah. What's working. And yeah. that automatic feedback is something we didn't have before. No. Like you can, like you say, you'll know by how people respond. Mm -hmm. 
And something like an app like that, I'm sure it works a little, I feel like Instagram has made so many changes lately that mm. if it's because of algorithms and things, like if you don't normally like these person's posts, now they don't pop up anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you actually are always on like one of my first stories because I like to watch your stories. So yeah, I, but, I I have like a, it. but I also have a friend who I've known for years and I told her I started a podcast and she had no idea what was starting yet because my stuff doesn't pop up on her. Yeah, thing. because, but then if she clicks it once, then maybe, maybe, maybe it that tr tricks the algorithm. And like that, it's just funny. You now people are like all like sensitive about oh likes and who's seeing things and who's commenting and whatever yeah. but now it's so it's like that's not necessarily and it's it cool is. and like that's fine like that was actually part of my reason from switching from the consistent funny videos to doing the podcast this is like okay the organic reach like I'm, like I'm not gonna get as many views or as many like you know hits as I normally yeah. do so for the people who engage with my content a lot like the algorithm like the algorithm or whatever like my stuff is always gonna pop up on there so let me work on building a deep relationship with them yeah. so like when I'm doing my podcast you're really getting a, a look into my brain yeah I'm telling you about my perspective on stuff I'm still interacting you can still DM me whatever I'll still post a couple li like old lip sync videos here and there like yeah. it's just like more about before when like Instagram was just like this great place where like you just post one thing and like my, my things would go crazy like I took real advantage of that but like now that I've collected basically as many people as I'm gonna collect let me yeah. like you know um, sort of uh, you know build a deeper relationship with the people that I currently have so that yeah. you know when the next you know when when TikTok is is the premier app like everybody's gonna go looking for me you know what I mean yeah like that sort totally. of thing because that does shift too I yeah. mean it, I mean, it used to be like, say, Facebook and yeah. like a long time ago now, but then... then That's another Instagram thing goes. about new media as opposed to traditional media is that you should actually treat your viewers like people. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> not just <laughs> a demographic, not just a study, not just a... Sorry, I'm just realizing there might be something. No, go on. We're okay. Yeah. Not just a, you know, not just a, you know people that are gonna give us money if we do this good not like actual like real people, humans like, like beings curated like human community yeah. like it yeah. actually like means like you know yeah. like that's you know I well love something that. you said on your live the other day is yeah. like um because i saw on your podcast dm me i'll dm you back mm -hmm. like that is not even something that somebody with like I don't know like you have a lot of followers now but a lot of people yeah. with like even half your followers will be like no no yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, you're not gonna grow yeah. that way yeah but like all, all of this stuff that I'm saying Jen has to do with you know like I said I went through my cocky phase and you know like I'm you know I'm I'm on the line with confidence and cocky sometimes but like a lot of this stuff has to do with humility getting over your eat like you yeah. like it's a, it's yeah. a hit to your ego to get hate comments and it's a hit to your ego to put out something and it gets too large like it's a hit to your and like there's yeah. a lot of it takes a lot of humility to like really go all in on this stuff like yeah. it really really does yeah um and and you know like all of that stuff of like distancing yourself that's like um it's definitely like a Hollywood thing, mm -hmm. but like when influencers do it, like it, it's just based off of Instagram. Like I found like for me, I, I definitely went through this the phase where like my imp, like imp, like I look back on it now and it's so silly. Cause like I was this way, like, cause I was good at improv comedy. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, 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 you're so amazing. <laughs> you're that guy. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. And, and, and like for me personally, it was just sort of a thing where it's just like, um, I was used to, you know, being middle of the road, not being noticed. Okay, finally people like, you know, love me and notice me for something. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, I, I need to, I, I need to relish, I need to, you know, I need to relish this. I need to like have this presence. I need people in every single room to know that I am this, so that I don't have to feel, you know, like less, or, less or like I don't have to feel like not accomplished, not accomplished, or, in, or I don't have to feel my insecurities. Like if I am like if I'm above everybody else, that means I'm, I don't have to feel like you know, you know the insecurities that I feel, and that's just like not true. Like mm -hmm. it's just like a it's just like a horrible horrible cover. It's a horrible mm -hmm. cover up, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it definitely like stunts your growth. Like yeah. you know, even if you're doing fine by being this person and being distant, you could be you could be doing a lot better, and you could be a lot happier. Yeah. and less stressed and less anxious if you just like just let your guard down and just be yeah. like hey this is you know who i actually am so and i yeah. think it's funny too like just speaking to ego <laughs> this is this hit Ooh. me this hit me the other day it's like i don't i don't need in a way to 
to hi, yeah. hi friends. Just waving at some people. <laughs> waving at the peeps. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting like how sometimes like you can get in your head with this ego stuff and I totally agree that mm. you have to be so humble. I mean, it's the same when you go into these auditions. Something that's currently happening for me mm. is I know your journey and my journey are a little bit different. So in the same way that you were like, I need to leave my agent, I'm like, I need to find an find agent. Find an agent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. it's happened where I did submit mm -hmm. um, in July and I got like no responses. And what's so funny about that is just being in, in these classes downtown mm -hmm. and stuff and having coaches say to me, you know, Chelsea, you're really talented. Like, actually, this is like, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, there's always stuff to work on. Yeah. Of course, you're always yeah. growing. I hope so. Anyway, yeah. you're always growing, always getting better. If you come in, you yeah. nail it. Like, you better be making the most money in Hollywood because yeah. seriously, like, everyone can grow. Everyone can get better. Yeah. But it's like, you know, getting all this, like, positivity like and mm -hmm. even from coming from school and stuff like just feeling like okay actually like yes I have a lot to learn but I'm mm -hmm. I, I actually have something and other actors coming up and talking to me like oh you're so captivating to watch or mm -hmm. whatever it is yeah. and then you go and you try to find an agent mm -hmm. and there ain't nobody like yeah. wanting to sign me yeah and so again I submitted again to another round this week mm -hmm. for some other other agents and whatnot mm -hmm. And yeah, I did hear back already. I mean, I just submitted yesterday, so I like to give it a couple of days. Usually if you yeah. don't hear back in a couple of days, it's probably not a thing, but mm -hmm. who knows? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and I just, I got a response kind of being like, um, would you be interested from one agent? Would you be interested in just doing commercial work? Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, that's like, honestly, sure. Yeah. Because as much as like, I know that I can do more, mm -hmm. I'm also like not in a position, like humility wise yeah. to like say no, in yeah. a way. you know what I mean? And I yeah. can still be working on my creative stuff in my writing. I can still be working in whatever, but yeah. I just want to try to start getting out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, for sure. But like, and like something you said just like hit me so hard because this is actually something that I've been thinking about like if you think about and this might apply to like other uh, occupations and industries right. as well but especially with actors our in entire like framework for like our value system as actors is completely based upon outside validation <laughs> if yes. I get the lead role in this that means I'm good. If yeah. I get into this program, that means, means I'm, I'm good. good. If I get this agent, that means I'm good. If I get this award, that means I'm good. If I get this movie, if these people think, if these people say, if I get this recommended, like it's a hundred percent predicated on preach, preach. I outside. feel like <laughs> it's com like a hundred percent. Yeah. And, and, and at a certain point you like, I think all of us have to have this conversation with ourselves and be like, okay, but why, why does that person get to decide? Mm -hmm. Like, wh like, why does that person not, not get to decide whether or not I get the job? Cause that's their discretion. But why does that person get to decide whether or not I'm good at what I, I do? Yeah. You know, and you know, some, and you know, sometimes, you know, people just aren't very good. Yeah. And that's why they're not getting anywhere. And so like, you know, that type of self-awareness is important, but like, yeah. if enough things have happened, like for me personally, I'll just use myself as an example. Whenever I get on stage, usually when I get on stage, without it, it's my gift. Yeah. People are entertained. And people are laughing. Yeah. People are giving me positive feedback. That's just been my gift since I was five. Same. At a certain point, at a certain point, I have to stop looking for other people to tell me that you've mm -hmm. earned this. That means you're good. And just start like looking at the facts, like and just like really, you know, like thanking God for like the gift that He's given us, and just being like. You know what? You don't get to like. I'm gonna, yeah. you know, like w whatever path we decide to take, um, we have to like still like remove that mindset of, yeah, I need this so that I can feel like mm -hmm. I'm good at what I'm doing. Yeah, because nobody gets to decide that. Yeah, nobody gets to decide that. Like, you know, for any sports fans who might be watching this, like yeah. LeBron James is a great example for me. Like he left his hometown team that he was playing with for like six years at that point to go play with a team with better players than Miami Heat because mm -hmm. they were he was more likely to win a championship. Yeah. And that was a goal that he had. Everybody hated him for it. His hometown hated him for it. Mm -hmm. But now we look back on that decision much later, years later, and be like, that was exactly that was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But only he and his team knew that. Mm -hmm. And only he and his team were sure of that. All the sports writers, everybody was just like, why did you, you did it the wrong way, all this stuff, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, so, like, yeah. at the end of the day, like, 
these people might have opinions, these people might have their way of doing things, but they don't get to decide whether or not something is right or something is good because yeah. there's only so much they know. Mm -hmm. Only you and God know whether, like when it comes to like our gifts, yeah. only you and God know, that's it. Yeah. He knows what he's gifted you for yeah. and you know what you can accomplish together. And mm -hmm. Yeah, and I see this ties one more time back into kind of what I'm saying. Like, I think only certain people should be allowed to speak on that. Because, like, for yeah. myself, like, what you're saying with the knowing kind of, I would say it's almost like an identity or self-worth thing where mm. you know you know what, like, your gifts are. And I think on that particular issue, God's the only one who should really be able to speak to you on that. Oh and then, of course, like, close friends and family who are, like, want to encourage you in that gift, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, I know it. it, it, it is kind of funny because on the one hand I find myself oftentimes a little torn because on the one hand I want to be putting myself out there as that avenue on the other hand I'm not just trusting that avenue to be how I get there mm. do you know what I mean like mm. uh, I personally am in a situation situated in a position with my job and my work where they are like okay mm. just go to the audition come back after that's mm. fine so that's good that's not everyone's position right now but mm. I have that so I would like to get my foot kind of out that door, but on the other hand, it's like, yeah, just with like being humble and just going like, they don't know the, the yeah. breadth of what I can do. Yeah. And maybe I show them and maybe it doesn't matter if I show them or not. Maybe it's like another way, but yeah, yeah it's just, a, it's an interesting dynamic, like you said, because actors do have to so heavily rely on whether or not someone wants to cast you and it, it can have nothing to, well, most of the time it has nothing to do with Nothing to do with any, well, like even like, yeah, let, let me just say what we're saying in a way more simplistic way. Um, somebody gets on like the talk and like on the bottom it says so-and-so's name, uh, only have a minute and 30 minutes. It's all good. We got some fire. I got some fire. <laughs> yeah. um, someone's asking me to follow them. Okay. No, I'm not going to follow you. <laughs> I don't know who you are. But thanks for following me though. <laughs> Ta -tamu Tamuli. I love you very much. It's just I, I can't follow. I can't be following everybody <laughs> that asked me to follow them. I'm. Your your DM me though. Sean is just Our, dying. <laughs> DM me though. I'll DM you back. Okay. You're very special to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, what was I about to say? Right. Simplistic way. Simplistic way. Somebody's on. <laughs> Somebody's on the talk and it says so and so's name and it says Oscar winning actor. Yeah. On the bottom. Uh, everybody's first instance is go, oh, that means he's a good actor. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't. Yeah. No. Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. No. Yeah. How many times have we watched the Oscars and like we saw someone win and we were like, huh? Yeah, who are you? Like, we what? don't know you. No, yeah. like. You know, we didn't like that movie. Yeah, even. we didn't what like was that the movie? movie. No one saw it. Yeah, you know, it's just like it's just like um, video life has in. Uh oh, did I not get that saved? Uh oh, I might have messed up. Oh shoot. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I did record it. Oh yeah, it's true. But like, I wanted to get I wanted, I wanted to get something to yeah. post for tomorrow. But I'm anyways, so sorry. It's all good. It's all good. That was my fault. I mean, it fault. gave you a countdown. Yeah, it did. And I paid no attention to it. I was just mean to one of my followers. <laughs> <laughs> shoot. Yeah, shoot. Anyways, um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's just crazy how much, um, it's been we just value like, things it, based on jobs yeah, or it's, awards. It's, it's or... been culturally accepted that if you have this, that means that you're this good. And like mm. the fact of the matter is like there's so many different factors that go into it. So I'm and sure there's yeah. amazing players in the NFL who've never won. Yeah, but, you know exactly. Or, or like, exactly, and that's why I love using sports as an example because sports is just way more black and white. It's just like way yeah. more of a meritocracy. Like if you're good you're gonna play if you're not good you're, you're gonna you're, you're gonna get benched and if you're really bad you're gonna get cut like it's just really like cut and dry and like yeah. that's that's the only issue with like acting it's like it's very um subjective yeah it's very subjective so yeah yeah oh tenji <laughs> thank you so much for being on my podcast no problem i'm so it glad so that you fun. had water yeah. in here yeah. In your cup. Yeah. I had, I fully Yeah, no, guys stay hydrated with this yeah, hot light on me. I'm sure yeah. I'm sweating on your camera right now. It's perfect. 
Um, I would love you to do a shout out to yourself on your social media. Everyone go follow Tenji if you're okay. not already. Yeah, because I've been talking about my social media this whole time. <laughs> uh, I am on Instagram and uh, TikTok primarily at TunjiTL, T-U-N-J-I-T-L. I'm also on Twitter. I'm also on Snapchat. I'm also um, on YouTube. YouTube. Your Even podcast? My YouTube is hella trash. Yeah, my podcast is called Tunji's Podcast, so check that out if you want to listen to like, you know, a, a daily dose of something. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I'm on Facebook as well at TunjiTL13. I added the, because somebody took the username TunjiTL. There's another <laughs> TunjiTL out there what? on Facebook. So Come on. It's at TunjiTL13, and uh, yeah, that's where you guys can find me. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We love you. Hey. Everybody, if you don't know this about me already, you know it now, but you know, pursue what you're gifted at. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste yeah. of everyone's time. It's a waste of God's gifts yeah. if you just sit on that talent. So. And stop waiting for other people to say it's okay. You want to do it? Do, do it. it. And if it doesn't work, so? So? Yeah. So? yeah. <laughs> Listen. Listen to the man. But like for real. Yeah. So what? So what? So, I I agree. all right, it didn't work out. You probably learned something. From, like, you learned that you suck at that thing. That's great. <laughs> now you can move on to it's something true. that Fail. you're actually good Failure at. Failure is huge because you can, it redirects it's you. It's amazing. So you might as well. Every actor knows. Oh, we know. Every actor knows re rejection is part of the it's, game. It is the game. And if you That's don't experience the it much... The worst, sorry, I know we're supposed to wrap this thing up. Yeah, tell me, tell this me, is, This tell is me. another, this is, like, the worst position to be in is, like, when you're an actor, but you're a young actor with natural talent, and you keep getting booked for stuff, and you just get booked for stuff for, like, a couple years, yeah. and then that first rejection comes, oh, Ooh, that's the worst. That's deep. That's the worst. It's, that's deep. Like, it's just so much better to get rejected over and over again, and then, like, finally and get that. And then you get it, on. and then yeah. you're like... Oh, this is like it's it's no yeah. longer the goal. It's, it's like the sugar on yeah. top or something. No, it's for like sure. Auditioning is the lifestyle. For sure. Getting the part is the fun. Because when thing. you because like if you've grinded and you've persevered and stuff, it's like and then you finally get that opportunity. You have the mindset of like, okay, I have to work to get this. But like yeah. when you when you ride for a while on like natural ability, which is like kind of part of my journey, right? Like yeah. in in like the improv world. Yeah. And then you get like rejected for something. Like you feel like something's wrong with you. You. Yeah, and like it's actually like no, like that's just actually how life is. It's that's just, just that you're test. blessed, you're gifted, and so you've mm -hmm. been getting all these opportunities. Yeah, but man, like oh, ooh, I yeah, I, opportunity and again your worth as a as a yeah. person with that gift are not equal yeah. necessarily. Yeah, like when I see like young kids in theater, especially like you know like that 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 get every like leading role or like always get a good role in every theater thing. Like I legitimately am just like oh no. Yeah, I know because I know because I know because I know what's about to happen. I know, I know what you're gonna get. You're gonna you're gonna go out there in the in the real world. Yeah, you you're not gonna get anything for a year. Yeah, and 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 are and, you still out here? Oh, are you still trekking oh, for it? Oh man! <laughs> oh, oh man! So we encourage you to realize that rejection is part of the game, oh. and actually, you should you should hope you get it. You should want it in a way, like so it can build you. Rejection and is characterize awesome. you. <laughs> It's great. Doesn't feel like it always. Yeah. I'll give you that, but it's good. We yeah. want it. <sighs> because ultimately, like you know, for for those for those listeners and watchers who believe in God, mm -hmm. that's like you know that that's like sort of a directive you know mechanism of God is like okay, you yeah. tried this, it didn't work out. That's God's way of telling you this is not where you're supposed to be. We just move to the next thing. Exactly, just move on. Or from, maybe yeah. it's a trial to test your skill with it. Mm -hmm. Like just because you get rejected on your first audition doesn't mean you're not supposed to be an actor, but it does mean you have to learn now what that lifestyle is gonna. Tail for exactly, you. exactly, and then you, and then <laughs> we're supposed to wrap this up <laughs> with the rejection. Same, same, same. And, with, and then with the rejection, like um, it's important not to take it on on yourself of like I'm not good or I'm not good enough. No, but, it's like, not an identity really, thing. It's a, it's a really important to like look at the practical reasons why. Okay, what happened here? Like, yeah. Like what did what I did? What didn't I do or did not do to to get this opportunity? Yeah. This person got the opportunity. What do they do differently than I do? Yeah. And then just like look at like just look, like look at it like break it down real objectively as yeah. a, as a matter of like a, a list of things like you know pros and cons like what went well what didn't go well. Take an, that, inventory, take an inventory basically. Take an inventory. Use that to make yourself better, man. Yeah. It's, uh, 
Well, it's a it's a guide. Yeah. It's a, it's a happy thing. Yeah, a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff, like amongst uh, artists who are talented, a lot of this stuff doesn't have anything to do with how good or bad you are. No. It's just a matter of it's a matter of circumstance. It's a matter of nepotism. The opportunities yeah. do not equate with your talent level. I oh, really don't. Yeah. It just can't at this point. Yeah, I've seen game, too much. Like, yeah, game, it's, it's a game. Yeah, and like the most practical thing that we can control is how hard we work. So that's why you gotta work yeah, hard. So work hard and do it. Do your do thing. It. Yeah. We love you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye.